this month is always very special to us. Without a doubt, uh, we, we feel that it is our opportunity to try to make women more aware of uh, breast cancer screening and the value of the screening. It's more than, than really just a month. It's, it's not this day, it's not the month of October. It should be every day. Uh, and we should, we should go out of our way to make women aware of the value of screening, the importance of finding this disease early enough, and the ability that we have to, in fact, cure this disease uh, in the event of, of early detection and the ability to, to cure follow-up early detection. In conjunction with the start of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Hologic rang the opening bell Monday morning at NASDAQ as part of a media tour demonstrating their new 3D mammography technology. In front of NASDAQ in the middle of Times Square, Hologic had parked a mobile version of the new 3D system where they demonstrated the new technology. This is where the technologist actually views the images. As you can see right here, this is our 2D image. It's very easy to toggle between the 2D and the 3D. Let's go back to the 3D a little bit. You can see right here, this is definitely an area of concern. At that point, you can toggle to the 3D image and basically confirm that that is an area of concern just by scrolling through these images in millimeter increments. Dr. Lori Margolis, Chief of Breast Imaging at the Dubin Breast Center at Mount Sinai in Manhattan, says the technology marks a major shift in breast cancer screenings. When a woman has a mammogram, the breast is typically compressed twice, once from side to side and once from top to bottom and we get a picture that means that everything that's on the top of the breast will be sitting on top of everything that's on the bottom of the breast, for example. So what 3D does is to undo that, so that we look at the breast actually in one millimeter thin sections. So what's on top is next to what's next, under it, and under it, and under it, and under it. So everything that might hide a cancer is peeled away. So you can imagine if you took a picture of the outside of a book, you wouldn't really know what was inside those pages. Likewise, if you did a mammogram that was 2D, you get a very good idea of what's inside the book, but you don't see every little detail that you do with the 3D by going page by page by page. So that one millimeter paging through the breast gives you a much clearer picture of what's inside the breast. While a 3D breast scan is preferable, Dr. Margolis says the important thing is that women simply go get screened. Screening mammography saves lives. Even with our oldest technology, we know that screening mammography saves lives. There's an incremental benefit to the 3D with more cancers detected, hopefully at an earlier stage, as well as a significant decrease in the callback rate. So for those women who had screening who get called back because the shadow may look abnormal, we are able to discount most of those shadows with 3D mammography and prove that they're nothing the first time so somebody doesn't have to come back for more views. You know, most women who have a mammogram are not going to have breast cancer. So screening mammography is wonderful and really does save lives. So I would go to the best facility that you can that is convenient for you. I would not put off getting a mammogram in the hopes that you might get a different one or a better one, but I clearly would go have that screening mammogram. If, you, if you're 40 years old and you haven't had one yet, it's time to get that screening mammogram.